In this video, we will see how to share reports. Now, it is also possible to publish WebI elements like charts and tables as web services. To use WebI objects as web services, the reports should be opened in the design mode. Before publishing a block as a web service, use the defined published content screen in Publish Content Wizard to name the table, make filters available on the block data and select the server where the block will be published. Let us see in SAP system how to use web services to share content of a report. Let's see how you can share the webby reports in the form of web service so that they can be consumed into the other tools like the live office, dashboard designer, query as a web service. So if I go to my launch pad, this is my report which is having the year and the sales revenue. So sometimes the requirement is that we have to publish the data as a web service from the web report. So how we can do that? So we have the option of publishing as a web service in Webby. If I select this particular block, if I right click, here I have this option of publish as web service. If I click on it, here I have to click on next to continue. It will check for the duplicates if there is any duplicate content available. If not, it will show that no duplicate content found. Then we have to click on next. Here you have to enter the name and description for the published content and we have to set the content filters. Let's say if I give name as demo underscore web service. And here we have to give the description if we want to give any. Here we have the option of setting up the filters. Automatically it will pick up the year and the revenue. But if you want to change it, you can change according to the need. After that, we have the option of managing the servers. So if you have any other server, you can add it where you want to save it. After that, you can click on next. Here we have to save and publish the new web service to the folder or we can republish the existing web service. Here we have to first select the BI web services. We have to create here we have to give the web service name. So let's say if I give the web service name as test and then we have to choose the authentication type. So which authentication type will be used to access this web service? Whether we want to use the enterprise, SAP, Siebel, EBS, AD, LDAP, PeopleSoft or the JD Edwards. Let's say if I want to use the authentication type as enterprise. So now it's saying that the Test web service has been successfully created. After that, I will just select it and I will click on finish. So now my this block is published as a web service. And if I go to this area of web service publisher, I will be able to see the WSDL URL of this block. I can copy this and I can use it in any other tool to use the data of this particular block of my webby report. I can see here that the authentication mode is the enterprise since we have used the enterprise authentication. This is the identifier of my block. So if there is any description added, we will be able to see the description here. So this is my block which is published and I can see that which block is published here as a web service. So this way we can publish the data which is available into my webby report and we can use that as a web service into any other tool. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can publish the data, how we can share the data of my webby report as a web service and how I can use it as a WSDL link into my any other tool. Thank you.